Hey everyone, in this tutorial we're going to take a look at using Smart Search and how it can help you save time by finding the assets you want more efficiently. Smart Search allows you to search through a vast collection of content from Reillusion stores and try it out before you buy. Let's start by looking at the ways you can access Smart Search from the UI. If we're searching for something like a blouse, but don't have one in our current library, we can click on Begin Deep Search, which will open up the Smart Search window, which will be populated with all sorts of related assets. You can also access Smart Search from the Content Manager dropdown, the Plugin menu, the Windows menu, or right on the toolbar. If we search more specifically for a blue blouse, we can then double click on any of the trial assets to add it to our trial library. After applying it to your character, you'll get a watermark indicating it hasn't been purchased yet. Deep Search contains three search methods, text, image, and find similar. Text search is simply entering text into the search field and you can view past searches. This can include descriptive phrases as well as different languages. The phrase wavy hairstyles for men can be changed to woman to bring up different results. We can get even more specific with the search phrase and again download a trial version to apply to our character. As mentioned, you can also input your own language into Deep Search and get the same results. Obviously, you don't need to use Google Translate here, just input your own language directly, and Deep Search does the translation for you. As you can see, there are all sorts of different styles waiting for you to try out on your character. Okay, let's take a look at image search next. Toggle this on by clicking the image search button next to the search bar. You can load an image from your workstation or drag and drop it from Explorer. You can also paste screenshots and even drag linked images in directly. One more way to do it is to paste the image URL directly. Next, let's look at the Find Similar method, which allows you to drag content directly from the Content Manager to find similar items. You can also drag assets directly from the Smart Search window itself to find more related items. Another way to do this is to right-click on items in the Content Manager and select Deep Search Similar. Naturally, you can do the same from the Smart Search window itself. You can also find the Deep Search Similar command by right-clicking on an item directly in the viewport. And in case you need yet another way to do it, you can also access it from the Scene Manager directly. You'll notice that the categories along the side of the Smart Search window coincide with those found in your Content Manager. These can also help you filter down to exactly what you're looking for. So if I were to search for a woman's leather jacket, and I clicked on the Actor category, it will show me female character models I can purchase that come pre-dressed in leather jackets. To make it easier to find the particular model type you want, Smart Search also includes a number of subcategories, including CC character, which are the standard high quality characters with the most detailed features and materials for best rendering results. Next, there's iClone Crowd, which contains the less detailed and lower resource models used for scenes that require many actors at once. 
you'll find many of these on the ActorCore site. iClone Humanoid contains custom biped characters that may not conform to the most recent standard rig setup and often don't contain facial animation capability. Finally, iClone Creature is where you'll find things like horses, dragons, and other non-biped creatures. Let's look at keyword search next. With this search method, you can look for items by their author and tag, as well as searching specific motions. Let's try by author first. In the Content Store dropdown, you can find a list of the major content developers. If you're fond of a particular developer's content, you can generally enter the first few letters of their name, and it will show up in the list of suggestions. You can then right-click on any item and select Content Info, where you'll find the author's name along with other information. Let's try searching for a motion next using tags. First, make sure that you're in the Animation category and enter your search. You'll notice that we're in the Pack tab, which will display any pack containing a female dance motion. If we go into the Item tab, we can get specific individual motions. You can then filter these even further, according to individual online stores. The content store is a combination of developer and Reillusion official content curated by Reillusion. ActorCore specializes in individual actor models, motions, as well as accessories and props, sold by Reillusion. The marketplace is kind of like the Wild West, where you'll find all sorts of content that hasn't necessarily been tested by Reillusion, but that you can test via the trial mechanism. You can quickly filter for trial content and download a motion to test out your clothed character. Finally, let's look at a scenario that includes a model with different material options. If we use this search prompt, we can find a number of matching models. You'll also see an iMaterial Plus file type on one of them, meaning that this contains different material options for a source model. When you double-click to install this, the source model will also be downloaded, and applying it to your scene will automatically load that model with the applied outfit. Another cool new feature for modeling clothes is that you can apply them directly to your existing model in the viewport, but now you can also simply drag a clothing item in, select demo content, and a mannequin model will be imported to show off how it looks on a character. That's it for this tutorial on searching with Smart Search. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.